And then aside from that, we're gonna show you the after effects of how it looks after we paint it. And then we're gonna start putting everything together. We're getting to the fun part. So putting all the things like the bumpers on, mounting the plastics. We've got a new bunch of new parts that we're gonna show you that we got to make it pretty cool, like lighting and uh, sound systems, etc. And then uh, we're gonna keep going, get it all put together. And then uh, we'll show you how we did everything in the, in the in the meantime. So let's get to it. Well, we've got all the body work done. So now we're going to go ahead and start painting. So instead of just using the popsicle orange, we decided to use more of a real deeper orange. So we're just going to do the rattle can. Um, the type of paint we have is just like a Krylon. Basically, it's going to the color max. It's got the pri paint and primer built into it. So we're going to. Go ahead and do a couple coats on it. And then on top of that, after we're done, we're gonna go ahead and use the Spray Max Clear Glamour. This stuff is actually automotive uh, clear coat in a can. You actually pop this button out and you put it on the bottom, mix it, and then you shake it. It's only good for 48 hours after it's mixed. So it's legit stuff and it literally is very high quality. I'd use it on a lot of headlight restorations and a lot of other paint jobs in the past so we're going to go ahead and start getting to it and starting to paint the hood and then also the back piece as you see over there so let's get to it start Next day, it's a long project. It takes a lot of time to do this stuff, but taking your time is the key because you don't want to rush it and have poor results. So as you can see here, we got our paint done. Um, it's obviously not perfect because we're not pr professionals here, but we try to make it look as good as possible. So we went ahead and got the true orange done on the hood and we used that same clear coat and got it nice and glossy. Um, got this back side done and we also painted on the inside of it as well because when you look inside the battery tray, you don't want to see white. Otherwise, it looks like you just did kind of a, a poor job and didn't do the whole thing like you should have. You see here, we went ahead and got the side of the golf cart. We got these rails all done, taped them off nicely. A little overspray here. That's just because the plastic covers that. As you see in here, we got the batteries all wired in. We got everything wired up like it needs to be. We got them secured in. And uh, now that with these four batteries, so the total, each battery is a 12 volt battery. So four times 12 is 48 volts. So we have enough volts here and then we connected everything and everything actually works. So later on in the video, once we get it all put together, we'll be giving it its first test drive and we'll see exactly how that looks and feels and uh, we're excited to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it and start putting everything together.
All right, we got some parts in. So we got the new key switch because we couldn't even power it on. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. Got the new carpet for the floorboard area because it just had that old blue stuff that was worn out. So we're gonna get this installed and nice and trimmed in. We just got some trunk carpet. That's all you need because we have a little rubber mat that goes there. We also got some speaker wire and then we got our Bluetooth deck. That's all it is. It doesn't have a, stair, uh, a CD player in it. So you can just stream your music from your phone, which is pretty much where everything's going these days. And we got a couple four inch speakers to mount, which actually have like a blue, a blue background in them. Then we have the carbon fiber wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and carbon fiber wrap the glove boxes because they have kind of like this wood look to it. And since we're looking more of kind of a, a street look and a little more a sporty, we wanna go ahead and put the carbon fiber wrap on top of that. So let's get to it and start installing it. So we're gonna go ahead and get the stereo installed. We tried to look on the dash and just really know where to mount it. So we went ahead and made a little quick mount plate. This is gonna go inside the glove box and then the stereo slides in there. So we're gonna run all the wires through the glove box and then we cut a hole here to run the wires over to the rest of the, the, the golf cart. So we're gonna wire these speakers in that we just mounted and installed and then get them all uh, in, uh, connected. And uh, when we get that all finished, we'll have a working stereo. So we'll get to it. All right, so we've got the stereo mounted and installed. We just gotta finish the wiring. But as you see here, we just used an older license plate, and then I cut it and bent it accordingly. Now, if you just wanna protect it, you just close the glove box. So, therefore, you just pull it out when you wanna use it. This kind of has USB, so you can charge your phone with it as well, but also protect it when you're driving around or just storing it. So. All right, well the next step is to get this front end put on so we can get it all structurally put together. So that's the next step. So the next step is, is we got a stripe kit. So it has like the racing stripes up and down the hood. Also gonna have it along the side. And then it has an additional piece here where we're just gonna put it along the side over here. So when we looked at the instructions, it said that uh, it has to be in an air conditioned environment. That's why we're inside the house. Cause outside it's about 110 cause we live in the Phoenix area. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting this all lined up, taped up to where and measure to the right area. And same with this, get it in the right center. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in um, my wife, she's actually really good at doing vinyl applications. And her and I are gonna work on it together. And uh, we'll get it knocked out.
looks good. Wifey did an excellent job. Now we gotta mount it back on the cart. So we went ahead and looked online and tried to find a roof or a windshield and the vote was we ended up deciding to go with the roof just because in Arizona it's super hot. So what we're gonna go ahead and decide to do is we're gonna take this roof, which we actually went online and found it on Facebook Marketplace. And instead of paying like 400 bucks for a roof and the frame and everything like that, I saw this online and I hit up the person who put it up there for like six months ago and it was like, it was 25 bucks. So a $25 roof is perfect. So what we're gonna do so that it doesn't look a little bit, a little too old, because this is obviously got some scratches and stuff and scuffs in here as you can see. And then um, under here, it's got some baked on adhesive, but we're just gonna leave that there. Um, I've tried to scratch off as much as I can, but then it just starts to gouge the plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and paint it orange so it matches the body and then We'll leave the outside aluminum just because if it ever gets hit or scratched, it doesn't have dings and dents and ruins the paint. So it's meant to be uh, scratch resistant. So we'll leave it that way. So we're going to go ahead and paint this and uh, we'll have that part done. All right guys, that concludes video three. So we just got the roof finally painted. The golf cart isn't here. We actually had to take it to the golf cart mechanic. Um, for some reason it wasn't working after we got all the electrical connected. Turns out they had a bad motor in it. So what we're gonna do is have them um, replace it with a, uh, another motor so that it'll actually work. But now that we got the roof painted on the other side, and the top side, the rest of the golf cart all painted. As you see over here, We've got our back seat in, we got to wait to put that in, we got our new windshield to put in as well. So we've got quite a few things we've got to install, so on the next video, we'll be putting it all together and making it complete. So that's the fun part, is when you actually get to see the fruits of your labors and putting it all together. So thanks for watching, and like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode.